Good morning, California Seismic Life friends. It's the day after Thanksgiving, and we hope you all had a fantastic day with family and friends yesterday. Southern California sure did not leave us without some notice that it is still awake and alive underground. We had, as a matter of fact, let me take you over there, an earthquake in Boron, California, a 3.5. And we're seeing that occur on our seismograph, nice and vivid. It's starting right at uh, 3.11.37. Right here, you'll notice that our needle starts moving. And a 3.5 at a distance of just about 80 miles is uh, nice enough for a CNS of a thousand to show up quite large, you might say. <laughs> it's not crazy large, but it is, uh, it looks large, but it's just a 3.5, but it's the distance closer to our seismometer, uh, our sensor, that it uh, pops up as a bigger looking earthquake. So the neat thing after this though, is that we had an earthquake about an hour later and Ridgecrest, and I'll take you over there. And that Ridgecrest earthquake was slightly bigger at 3.7. Let me take you over there and start this up for you. And this 3.7 earthquake, as you all know, we are about twice the distance in Ridgecrest, uh, removed uh, here in Garden Grove from that earthquake and this it shows up even though it was larger in magnitude by 0.2 it shows up smaller and the neat thing is that as you see on the right hand side what is coming back up around is the 3.5 in Boron and so witness how this earthquake even though it's larger shows clearly up as a smaller signature because the CNS was not changed, it's still a thousand. And it's quite cute to see these two together appearing on our uh, paper and it being a clear difference of uh, distance that makes the graph look so much smaller on the 3.7, which is somewhat of a larger earthquake. Distance matters. And we always tell you guys that. At the same time, we uh, encourage you to be prepared. So the California state is still a state of movement. And we encourage you to be prepared, have water and some extra food always ready. A bug out bag is always a good one too. To have by the door with some extra shoes. Uh, good footwear is very important and at night time at your bedside have your flashlight ready things like that we hope you will have a fantastic november 29th we'll see you soon again hope you enjoyed this double set of earthquakes yesterday wish you a fantastic friday and a happy weekend